The seat for Abilene mayor is up for grabs next month after Mayor Anthony Williams announced he is not running for re-election. Four candidates are looking to fill his seat. We'll be sharing exclusive interviews with each of the candidates leading into May, the May 6th election. Today we bring you more on the mayoral candidate Weldon Hurt. Weldon Hurt was born in Brownwood but has made Abilene his home. Hurt and his wife have owned Pest Patrol in the big country for several decades. He's also served as city council place for for about six years. Now he's looking to lead the council as mayor. Well, just with my experience on council and just a lot of the good positive things that we have going in Abilene, uh, just wanted a continuation of those things that are happening, you know, kind of just bring it through where we're headed and just keep it going down that path. These are a couple issues Hurt would tackle. We always want to talk about the big one, that's water. Uh, we want to, we're working with a coalition with uh, San Angelo and Midland to secure groundwater out of Fort Stockton. That will be good for all of us, uh, probably for the next 70 years. Uh, want to really look at infill development, some housing for more affordable housing within the older part, the core of our city. And uh, we need to get our employees paid. We need to get them a little a livable wage and, uh, you know, a competitive wage. When asked what he hopes to accomplish by the end of the term as mayor. A lot of infill development, for sure, um, at least on the path to making that, that happen uh, with, with code compliance and the boards working together. Uh, you know, I'd like to just see a lot of newer rooftops or even remodeled homes or fixed up homes in our older areas of Abilene. And a message for the community as they head out to the pools. I'm Weldon Hurt, I've got the experience, uh, I've got the background, uh, just, you know, I just appreciate everyone, uh, you know, number one, that they are out voting. But uh, if they want the experience and the good things to continue in Abilene, I'm the one to vote for. To learn more about each candidate, head over to our website at foxwtx.com.